Welcome back to Road to the Olympic Games presented by Toyota. We are bringing you the Grand Prix final competition from Nagoya, Japan. And what a great competition we just brought you in the men's. How about the results in ladies and ice dance? Canadians on the podium. Caitlin Osman taking the bronze. Virtue Moyer taking the silver. We will have their full programs tomorrow on Road to the Olympic Games beginning at 3 p.m. local. But now we are turning the corner, bringing you to the pairs competition. Here's how things stand after the short. Savchenko Maso holding on to the lead. Tarasova Morozov, the Russians right now in second, and the world champion Swayan Han sitting in third. And there are the Canadians, Megan Duhamel and Eric Radford in fifth after the short as we welcome you back inside our CBC Sports Studios. Andy alongside, Kurt and Carol. Okay, do you raise a little bit of an eyebrow seeing the Canadians sitting in fifth? A little, but not so much because um, Megan and Eric have really been having a difficult season. They did win one Grand Prix, but they have been struggling uh, this season to try to get that momentum that they had as two-time world champions. But if there's any team that knows how to fight from yeah, behind, it's sure. definitely that team. There's two great Russian teams. Of course, the world champions of China um, and the Germans are in a slight lead right now. So uh, it's tough for them. Yeah, well, and look at those Germans though, Aliona and, and um, Bruno. He has been so appreciative of the fact that Aliona, going into her third mega Olympic star. Games now, mega star, she could have quit after 2014 Games and gone home with her bronze medal. But no, she turned around and said, I'm not done. I want to win. And without her, Bruno she wouldn't be there. Mm, he's Which rising. I think is a great story. Rising to the occasion, that's for sure. Our Paul Martini is in Japan and he had a chance to catch up with the Canadians. Megan and Eric, short program complete. Megan? I sensed nervousness prior to this performance. I was really nervous, and I actually like missed a double lutz on the warm up, so that made me even more nervous. But um, after uh, the twist and the lutz were done, I felt more settled. Uh, the throw was a little bit stuck on the takeoff, which resulted in not having much flow when I came out, so I feel like that was a shame. But um, I think that we were committed to the performance, and when we finished, we felt like we put on a good show. All right, time to head inside as the skaters are on the ice for warm-up. So let's get you to Carol's comments, brought to you by Nature's Bounty Vitamins. Well, you know, pair skating is a two-person thing. You're not out there by your own self. You've got to appreciate your partner and what they bring to the performance in terms of being stronger together than you are alone. You balance one another out. You have different strengths and weaknesses. Look at Aliona and Bruno there showing that beautiful landing and then immediately there's a little connection between them. You can't fight that. And then confidence. You want confidence in each other, knowing that you've trained and experienced together. Well, I asked you if you raise an eyebrow at the Canadians sitting in fifth after the short, but here's the thing, you can't count anyone out in this pairs competition because look at the amount of experience here between what the Russians have been able to do winning here. Yes, the Canadians winning a couple years ago in 2014. And then Alyona Savchenko. I mean, she has so many under her belt with her previous partner. And now 